More doctors are getting behind the idea of taking supplements that you can buy over the counter to help protect you from the most severe symptoms of coronavirus. Not only that, but things like the flu and the common cold as well. And 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean talked to a local chiropractor who's been recommending his patients take this vitamin since early on in the pandemic. He believes it protected his own family. Jenny, tell us more. It's that simple and it is estimated that more than half of the adults here in the U.S. are deficient in this vitamin and doctors are realizing that this is really important. It's one of the building blocks of the immune system and it's really simple to get your levels up. You just need to take a supplement. It's been helping a lot of my patients. I hope it helps you. On April 13th, after doing quite a bit of research, Tampa chiropractor Dr. Scott Patton posted this video on his Facebook page. I'm talking about vitamin D. Research was stated that vitamin D3 across the board helped with acute upper respiratory infections. Dr. John Sinnott from Tampa General Hospital and USF Health agrees. When COVID hit the U.S., he tested his own vitamin D level and found it was low. I right away went on 4,000 units of vitamin D a day. Within a week, my levels were normal. Dr. Patton's family takes their vitamin D every day, and when his college-age son tested positive the first week of school, they all got tested. Apparently we had it, and we didn't know we had it. No symptoms whatsoever. He believes that's because of the vitamin D. He posted this update on his Facebook page in early September. This isn't, this isn't me just saying, you know, take vitamin D based on uh, anecdotal evidence. This is researched evidence. Dr. Sinnott agrees. He says when people ask him what they can do to prevent COVID. Well, you wear a mask, you socially distance, you wash your hands, you take vitamin D. Now there's a couple of quick notes. Dr. Sinnott says that if you have kidney stones, you should not take a vitamin D supplement. Also, if you think we live in Florida, we get plenty of vitamin D from the sun, uh, you're probably wrong because you probably wear a lot of this. Sunscreen actually blocks the absorption of vitamin D into your body. And finally, if you wanna start this, always talk with your doctor before starting any supplements.